Grand Wisings. Sound like a baby, right? They said out of the mouth of babes, but I was saying Wisings, like wise sayings, Grand Wisings. Uh, we're going to get back into this. Now, this is where, this is about Miriam. She receives the wand of prophetess from Nabiah. Nabiah means prophetess. Um, in some of the earlier videos I did, there's some notes on that and who she was. Uh, seven prophecies of Nabiah on Miriam. Now, this is kind of backwards because I was led to this today, which is, it's, it's, um, it's chapter 30. And if you notice on the video before this one, it was chapter 41 and 42, talking about when Peter um, denied the Christ. And from reading it, and if you guys listen to it, it was that he denied Miriam as being the lady Christ in this account. And he called her harlot and all that. Now, but this is before that. And what I noticed is that when I read it, this is a prophecy of what would happen to her when she met up with Yahshua and Peter. Um, Peter's name isn't mentioned, but um, the devil is. So this is kind of like the prophecy of the chapter that I read yesterday of what would happen. So here we go. Grand Wisings, y'all. Miriam received the wand of prophetess from Nebiah. And this is seven prophecies of Nebiah on Miriam. Upon the completion of her studies with Nabiah, Miriam was awarded the wand of prophetess. Nabiah sealed the ritual by anointing Miriam with seven sacred oils. With each anointing, Nabiah spoke words of prophecy. First, Nabiah sprinkled sp spike nard on Miriam's feet and tailbone and prophesied, saying, Demons will attack you near ha Halaja Ford. Even now I hear their voices in the subtle sky, pointing their, plotting their harm. You will go to Halaja Ford to meet your lion. Um, that is where the proclaimer shall witness the dove and know that the time of his pronouncement is at hand. With this holy spike nard, we proclaim that the demons will flee without harming you. Yea, with this spike nard, we conjure your lion to your side. Your lion will throw the demons from you and they will flee. Selah. So, you know, her lion is Yahshua. And, okay, then Nabiah, then Nabiah sprinkled lavender oil on Miriam's loincloth and prophesied, saying, the demons will try to place their seed in you when they attack. And y'all remember that in the video before this one, that was what Peter said when he called her a harlot. He said, even now, she smells like a harlot. She smells like lavender. So this is, this is talking about that. Um, even now, I hear their voices in the subtle sky plotting this rape. Um, and, yo, he was. He was outside of her tent and, and Yahshua's tent listening to them make love. Like, whoa. But um, because of your lion, um, because of your lion, the Spike Nard prophecy, they, they will fail. Um, and with this lavender oil, we proclaim that your lion, before his ascension from human flesh, will plant his holy seed in your womb, Selah. Then Nabiah sprinkled chamomile oil over the solar plexus of Miriam and prophesied, saying, your lion will be taken from you. Then you will know what it means to cry the tears of a love of a lover for her beloved. But behold, your peace and joy will survive the tears, for you know that the lion is eternal and waits for you on a heavenly stone, Selah. Then Nebiah sprinkled rose oil over the heart of Miriam and prophesied, saying, Lo, your lion is of jasmine, and so is the seed he will leave within, with you. Your lion's love with your love together will fill a goblet with love. From that goblet will come forth the epistle to the naturals in the last days, Selah. Then Nebiah sprinkled rosemary oil over the throat of Miriam and prophesied, saying, after the lion who is the lamb is slain, your voice will not be silenced, but your song will be sung in another land. Yea, on a ship you will arrive on another shore. Your guardian will be another lion, chosen by your slain lion. Know him by the rose thorn strung around his neck, Selah. 
Then Nebiah sprinkled cedar oil over the forehead of Miriam, which is the third eye, and prophesied, saying, A daughter, not of your blood, but of your spirit, will be your quill. That's talking about um, the female scribe, uh, Sarah, whose name was changed to Jalil. So here's the prophet, the prophecy of that. That's like four videos back I did, maybe five. Okay, where it talks about Sarah, the, the, the female scribe. All right. Your wisdom will be preserved by her for the last days, and the queen of seven will guide her hand, Selah. That's the queen of Sheba, queen of seven. Sheba means seven in the Hebrew. Then Nebiah sprinkled ganja oil over the crown of Miriam and prophesied, saying, The second lion will be slain, and you will follow both lions through that door atop the head, but not before you oversee the preservation of the teachings of the Lord and Lady within three roses, one blue, one red, and one white. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys following this um, channel know about Chief Rod Hayes, but he talks about the blue roses and the red roses and the white rose in the different lodges. Um, he even connects them to the crypts and the bloods. Um, and okay, okay, here's the rest of it. And through you follow, and though you follow the lions through the doorway of the crown and death, that door leads unto great life. This is the great, this is the greater life in the kingdom of the heavens where lives our spiritual kin, those of kindred spirit. That kingdom is the kingdom, queendom of Jah, Jah, and Yah, Selah, now and forever. Amen. Behold, Nebiah ended the ritual by giving Miriam a wand, saying, The wand of prophetess is within you. The wand I give is but a symbol of the inner wand. Then, lo, Nebiah gave her an unexpected gift that gave Miriam great joy. Yet this gift caused a tear of joy to drip down Miriam's neck. The gift was a harp that had been made many years earlier for Nebiah by her friend Zamira, father of Miriam. Miriam embraced Nebiah, though the heart was small, so as to be portable. For that day, from that day on, Miriam carried the harp with her until the day she was martyred. All right. All right, guys. So that was a prophecy of what happened with Miriam and Yahshua and Peter. The video before this, the two videos before this one um, cover that chapter 41 of where this prophecy was fulfilled. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'm heading outside.